Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem... okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Find anything? No, not even trash. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. I guess it's broken. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us! Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Just want to talk to you. Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially 
Маленькая девочка. Uh, little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay. I am not going... <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clem... I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You feel fish. You hadn't done this. I have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh... I'll see you back there.
I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's gonna be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Jane and I found some medicine. Is it safe for Rebecca to take? Well, should make her more comfortable anyway. Clementine, you are my favorite person in the entire world. How are you feeling, Rebecca? Hoping those pills kick in soon. I knew it was gonna hurt, Clem. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Sarah, you know, Rebecca's starting... They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah, your dad. You know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be alright. I hope one of these buildings is safer than out here. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. 
It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Empty. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Lee would have loved this place. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Any luck? Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. And clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. Are you sure you can't get it open? Okay, no, that's all right. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock. Jesus Christ! Something got Pull me! Pull back before it bites you! Help me, please! It's coming! Hold on! Kill it! Get it! <sighs> well, that happened. You okay, Bonnie? It's just a bump. I'm gonna be all right. I should have tried to crawl through. I might have spotted him better. It's all right. I, I shouldn't have asked anyway. Let me see your arm. No, I... I didn't get bit, just... 
old scars. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. There he is! He's coming your way! Block him! Oh! Oh! Sh shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste.